I'm just going to prime my eyes with my Astralis eye primer. If you have oily lids, I definitely wouldn't recommend this particular Astralis um, eye primer because it will crease quite a bit. Sometimes my eyelids can get oily, but most of the time I'm not too bad. Take it a little bit under as well because I'm going to put a bit of eyeshadow under there too. Okay, so I'm going to be using a Maybelline Expert Eyes. Now this eyeshadow is really quite old. I can't even remember when I got it. Um, I don't even think you can buy the Maybelline like this anymore. It's um, Impeccable Greys and it's quite dirty but there are the colours there. Okay I'm just going to take a eyeshadow brush and I'm going to start with the middle colour so this colour here and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to do that on the other side. Okay, so next I'm going to take the darkest colour and using the same brush, I'm just going to get that onto my brush. And I'm going to basically blend it into my crease. little bit more on there just sort of pat it in and then I'm gonna take a blending brush and just blend that out it's actually a smudge brush I should say and then I'm just gonna windshield wiper to um, blend that not going fully into the corner. Then I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. Okay, so pretty much like that. Hope you guys can see. Then what I'm going to do is just clean off my eyeshadow brush. Then I'm going to take this lightest colour. And I'm going to put it just above that line. Just to blend it out a little bit. I'm going to go up to my eyebrow as well. Just a little of that, not too much. And I'm also going to put it in the inner corner. Just to lighten it a little. Just like that. 
same on the other side just to smooth out that edge and then the same in the inner corner what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that middle colour again and I'm just going to pick my brush up and go over the lid again in the centre like that same on the other side Okay, next I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm going to just take my Lime Lily, um, this is a waterproof eye pencil and this is in Jet. So I got this one in my glossy box not too long ago. Um, looks black, but it's, I don't know, it's quite a dry pencil. Yeah, it's quite a dry pencil, so we'll see how we go. I'm just going to um, line my, uh, lash, my lash line and my... Um, lower lash line and yes I do pull my eye my eyes are very um, folded you know I have that real hooded eye so I, I sort of need to do that so keeping close to the lash line and I want to take it right into the corner I don't know if you can hear the noise in the background. Still on school holidays here. I'm just going to bring it up in the corner as well. Just a little wing. Now I'm going to do my lower lash line, connecting it to the corner, picking it right in as well. This is the first time that I've used this eyeliner and mm, it's not too bad but it's quite difficult to get on. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, so that's the other eye done. I also done my upper and and lower waterline, but this really, I don't know, I didn't really enjoy using this particular eyeliner. I'm not really sure if I'm going to be using it again. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is basically just curl my lashes, and I just use my um, my little pinky. I call it pinky. Um, curler I got this one from Woolworths it's their own brand so I'm going to go ahead and do that then I'm going to do just a couple of coats of mascara I'm using my max factor and all the writing has sort of come off so I can't really remember what particular um, mascara this is okay so my camera died um yeah I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara and this is the wand for the mascara so quite a nice one it's great for lower lashes I love using this one for my lower lashes using this one um, today just because I can so just a little bit of mascara today next thing I'm gonna do is just take um, a little face of Australia eyeshadow I have and this is in low light and if I can get it open. I'm just going to take the smudge brush I have. You can see that. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And I'm just going to put it under. Just very lightly. This is the colour here. Sorry, I forgot to show you. So it's a little, it's shimmery. It's quite nice. So just to add a little bit of sparkle under here. And on the other side. So just a little. 
Not that you'll really see it on the camera, but yeah. Okay. So that's so that's pretty much it for my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead now and do my foundation. And my skin is really quite bad at the moment. I'm pregnant still, so <laughs> Yeah, my skin is not that great. Bye. And the foundation I'm going to just use today is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And it is the one with the little... What is that called? Man, my brain is just... Does not work. <laughs> so this is the one with a little sponge on the end. Now, some people were like, nah, you shouldn't be using that. Other people were like, oh, I really like it. I don't use it all the time. I do clean the brush off before I use it so yeah so you just pretty much wind it up and paint it on really so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I need a lot of coverage at the moment because my skin like I said is not that great so I just put a little bit on like that and then a lot of times I'll use my hands then to basically just smooth it out. So it does look quite, quite greasy, doesn't it? I'm going to go ahead and just use my, my hands to clean just to smooth that out. I'm growing my eyebrows out too at the moment. Pretty much just because I cannot stand plucking or waxing at the moment. It's just my skin is way too sensitive. So I haven't been able to do anything like that. Which is kind of good in a way. Okay, so I always smooth down my neck too. That's pretty much it. So I'm just going to let that sink in for a minute. Then I'm also just going to take my Maybelline um, powder, pressed powder in natural beige um, just to pat over that foundation. So I'm just going to take a foundation brush actually and put a little bit on there just to tap onto my skin. Just around my nose where it looks real sort of shiny. And my forehead. Around my eyes. I find that I need to do that before I put my concealer on at the moment. Um, because my skin is so strange at the moment, um, I find when I put my concealer on and then my powder, it just doesn't seem to stay on, if that makes sense. I'm not sure why, but my skin is acting very funny since I've been pregnant. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so that's enough really. I'm gonna go over again once I do my concealer because why not okay so the concealer I'm gonna be using is a Maybelline again and it's a dream mousse and this one is in ivory light so just using my finger I'm gonna do under my eyes get rid of those bags and anywhere else I've got some spots which is pretty much everywhere I should do like a whole face of concealer. Ugh. You know I knew somebody who used to do that. Worked for her. Okay, so I'm just going to use my fingers. I'm going to take it down the side of my nose. Quite red. So just patting that in and down. Everywhere else that I've popped up. Oh, 
Okay. Then I'm going to just go over with my powder, just pressing it lightly to try and keep it on there. Like I said, I found putting the powder on first and then concealer and then powder again has seemed to help me. And I don't do it quite um, heavy, so it doesn't look too bad during the day. Okay. That's pretty much it for my foundation. My hair is a mess too at the moment. It's like I'll wash my hair and then the next day it looks dirty again and I've got all this regrowth and I can't um, colour my hair at the moment. Can't do anything. I've got four weeks to go so I'm counting down <laughs> until I can do... Until I can be normal. <laughs> That's how it feels anyway. Okay, so for blush I'm just going to be using um, Maybelline Expert Wear Blush. It's the Mocha Velvet. And yeah, so there it is there. And I'm not going to be using too much of this. I want a light sort of um, a light blush is what I'm trying to say. Like I said, my brain does not work. <laughs> okay, so I'm just really sort of doing it to the apples of my cheeks, really. And then just blending it up. That's pretty much it. Okay, so um, for my lips, I'm not really going to be using a um, lipstick or anything like that. I'm going to be using the sheer cover lip gloss that I got in my glossy box. And the colour is Pink Paraline. I think that's right. If I can get it opened don't have nails anymore and it's really hard so that's the color there I have used it as you can see and I'm not going to use my hands because my hands are a bit dirty so I'm just going to take a lipstick brush and get a little bit of that on and pop it on my lips So that's pretty much it. And that is my look for today, guys. So I haven't really done many tutorials. I'm not sure if I'm going to be... Um, well, I've got to find the right lighting properly, obviously. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.